Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Fathom Blue and I'm going to stamp some snowflakes. This is Finger Paints Fathom Blue. My friend Flory sent it to me and I love it. It's so pretty. The camera doesn't do it justice. Now this first little bit is a little blurry, um, but I promise here in just a minute I'm going to get it together and you'll get to see, you know, a better view of this. But it it's got a really great formula. Um, I've bought a few finger paints over the years, and most of them I haven't been too crazy about. But this one, something to write home about. Gorgeous. And here we go. See, I told you it would get better. And here we go with our second coat of Fathom Blue. And it probably could have been a one-coater, but I'm a two-coat kind of gal. So, you know, we went ahead and did the second coat. I'm going to top this one off some posh top coat and get it to dry so that I can do some stamping today. I love shades of blue like this that just sparkle and they just make my heart sing. I love them. I'm going to be using BMS 213 Stampin' Plate and Pure Ice Silver Mercedes, which is a regular polish. It is rather hard to find now. I'll be using the Clear Jelly Scraper. And um, I think that's just my big clear stamper from Born Pretty that was like the bling knockoff. And today I'm just going to use all different snowflake images. Just different ones on each nail. This one I really like. You just get in like a piece and you got the little peekaboo in the center. I probably should have put that on my ring finger, but <laughs> you know, hindsight. <laughs> I just love this plate. I love that it's got all kinds of different snowflakes on it, and I was so happy to find it in my collection so that I could use it today. I knew when I saw this polish that it needed snowflakes, and I've kind of been on a snowflake kick anyway. I don't know what the deal is, so we'll try to break it up a little bit. There we go. Ta-da! And I really do love this combo. I just think blue and silver look so good together. And I'm doing a little bit of cleanup with some tape. It's not coming all the way off, so I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and just kind of tidy that up a little bit. Off camera, of course. There we go. I didn't stay off too bad. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't stay out of frame just too awful bad. And we are all cleaned up, so let's hop on in with some posh top coat and seal this design in. I really ended up loving the way it turned turned out. I, you know, I do love me some Christmas winter manis. I think they're gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Here's my swatch photo. So thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.